breaking Democrats withholding crucial Russia evidence from Mueller. The DNC is allegedly withholding its server with emails from the Mueller's independent investigation on alleged Trump ties to Russia from Zero Hedge. If there were any actual crimes committed during the 2016 presidential election, then the origin of those crimes can be traced back to a single piece of hardware sitting at the DNC which housed the emails that were stolen and subsequently shared with WikiLeaks. Ironically, despite the fact that they are apparently sitting on perhaps the most critical evidence available to prove that Russia hacked the election, an allegation that has been hammered 24-7 on CNN for the better part of the year, now despite a lack of actual tangible evidence to support the allegation, the DNC has completely refused to cooperate with the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, and or Robert Mueller's independent investigation, which begs one very simple question. Why? As the Washington Times points out, a cybersecurity film called, uh, firm called CrowdStrike is the only organization that has been allowed by the D uh, DC to inspect their email server, an inspection which quickly resulted in the very convenient conclusion that Russia was the culprit of the hack, even though minimal details supporting that conclusion were ever revealed to authorities. It is perhaps the key piece of forensic evidence in Russia's suspected efforts to sway the November presidential election, but federal investigators have yet to get their hands on the hacked computer server that handled email from the Democratic National Com Committee. Indeed, the only cybersecurity specialists who have taken a look at the server are from CrowdStrike the Irvine, California-based private cybersecurity company that the DNC hired to investigate the hack, but which has come under fire itself for its work. Some critics say CrowdStrike's evidence for blaming Russia for the hack is thin. Members of Congress say they still believe Russia was responsible, but wonder why the DNC has never allowed federal investigators to get a look at the key piece of evidence the server. Either way, a key witness in the political scandal consuming the Trump uh, administration remains beyond the reach of investigators. I want to find out from the company that did the forensics what their full findings were. Senator Lindsey Graham, a South Carolina Republican who is leading the Judiciary Committee's inquiry, told the Washington Times. As you may recall, CrowdStrike is the very same cybersecurity firm that attributed the Sony hack to North Korea. In 2014, it investigated the Sony Pictures leak, the disclosure of a trove of sensitive and embarrassing internal emails and executive salary data apparently orchestrated by hackers sympathetic to North Korea, and who objected to Sony's comic depiction of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Unfortunately, that hack was subsequently revealed to have been perpetrated by a Sony insider. Hannity, can you say to the American people unequivocally that you did not get this information about the DNC, P John Podesta's emails? Can you tell the American people 1,000% that you did not get it from Russia or anybody associated with Russia? Assange, yes, yes, we, uh, yes, uh, we can say, we have said repeatedly that over the last two months that our source is not the Russian government and it is not a state party. Obama is trying to say that President-elect Trump is not a uh, legitimate president. Not surprisingly, all of the above have, has raised some very valid concerns on both sides of the aisles. Both Republicans and Democrats say the DNC's reaction to the hacking is troubling.
you can read more on Zero Hedge, they say, but this about covers it. They're not releasing the information and they're claiming like as if Donald Trump is not a legitimate president. What are they withholding? Because they know that all this, uh, all their shenanigans was just a ploy to dishonor uh, President Trump. Nothing to do with the Russians hacking uh, the presidential election. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.